that's like nothing compared to the next two diseases that are so hard to pronounce I'm not even going to attempt to. These are two, actually the first disease is pretty run of the mill and pretty straightforward. The first disease is merely the disease of people who can only become sexually aroused by amputees. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that's a little bit peculiar. That makes like the person with it seem like the kid next door compared to this one. This is the disease of someone who has a body dimorphism image, a body integrative uh, disorder. This is someone who their entire life has believed they are meant to have a limb missing. Their sense of themselves involve them being an amputee. This is a real disease. This is a real disease where people have websites where they communicate with each other about how to have industrial accidents, accidents that will remove a limb, where it will look like an accident. There are secret physicians who will do this. There was a paper in a neuroethics journal a couple of years ago by a physician arguing that one should be willing to carry out the surgery on a person who wants this done because they will find a way to do it disastrously Otherwise, as termed by the person who first described it, this is a new way of being mad. And this is terrain like you cannot imagine. Finally, most shocking of all, this was a case report a couple of years ago of somebody who had stroke damage to a cortical area towards the frontal cortex, but also a little bit in one other area. And as the case report described, this person in the aftermath became obsessed with polka music. Polka music, this was like some gang member Hell's Angel guy who had like brain damage after like one brawl too many. And out the other end, this is someone who's willing to like slash you to bits if you disagree with like which is the best polka group coming out of Krakow these days or some such thing. The person spent a dozen hours a day listening to polka music. What the hell is with that? What sort of, what damage there? We're just seeing these totally bizarre ways in which things can go wrong. Things can go wrong in merely peculiar ways. Things can go wrong in ways that destroy people's lives.